Where is this? Uh, we have 20 minutes to this. All right. So what I want to do is I want to show you guys how to do uh, how to solve proportions. And I'm going to show you guys kind of two different techniques. I'm going to show you the easy and the quick way, which I've already gone through with notes with you. But I also want to make sure you guys understand why we're doing that or how we get to that point. The first thing, I just want to go over, since we've been talking so much about using inverse and opposite operations, I really want you to understand why we do what we're doing. So the most important thing that you're going to want to do is understand what your operations are. So when you have multiplication, division, adding or subtracting, you know they're going to be opposite operations, right? Right? So. Um, remember guys, if I have a fraction, I want to get rid of my fraction. So the only way to get rid of my fractions is to undo what's happening. Well, a fraction is what? Division, right? So we're using division. So to get rid of, if I want to get rid of this fraction, I have to, instead of dividing by 49, I'm going to have to do what? Multiply by 49. Now, a number multiplied by 49 and divided by 49, now is going to what? Cancel out, right? To give you one. Um, then, if I want to get rid of, uh, if I want to get rid of dividing by w, I have to do what? Multiply. multiply. So I'm going to multiply by w. Okay. And the exact same thing. These are going to cancel out. But one important part we have to don't we have to remember is whenever I multiply on one side, I also have to multiply on the other side. And if I multiply 49 on the left side, I also have to multiply 49 on the right side. So therefore, if these cancel out, I'm just left with w times 29 equals 4 times 49. Does everybody see that? Mm -hmm. Right? And then this becomes, we kind of like to rewrite this as 29w equals 4 times 49 being 196. All right? What? 28. <clears throat> um, the other way I want to show you guys, which many of you are a lot more used to, which we call cross multiplication, where all you do is you take the cross products. And what you guys will see though, is when I do that, when I do 28 times W, But you guys notice is these two are exactly the same. Alright? So in future, if you just want to do take the cross products, that's perfectly fine. The reason why cross products though gets a lot of people confused is a lot of people don't know how to write their, don't know how to write their make uh, put the equal sign back where it's supposed to be. So I could say these two multiplied is going to equal the other two multiplied. Do you have a question or um, to make it easier, can you just simplify the fraction for you this time? If you could simplify, if you could simplify the fraction, then yeah. Yep, absolutely. That. Any anytime you can simplify, you always want to pull out numbers that you get. So then from here we have 20 y. Um, so this equals 28 w. Was 196. So to finalize our answer, we divide by 28. W equals seven. So there you go. I wanted to at least show you guys how we get cross multiplication by showing you this way. But then I'll see there's kind of a quicker, easier method just by using the cross products to solve for as well. That's it.